What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we got a very exciting day. We're gonna be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time and that's gonna be to lifting my forerunner. So we're not gonna be doing a full suspension lift. We're actually just gonna be doing a leveling kit. It's three inches in the front and two inches in the rear. And a leveling kit is basically just a spacer that goes on top of the sock suspension and it's just gonna lift the car. So on top of that, we're gonna be putting some bigger wheels and tires. So we got some 17 inch fuel wheels. These are in a matte bronze finish. And then we're gonna be wrapping them up in a 33 inch tire. These are the Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws. And one of the big reasons why I got these tires was because they are rated for the snow. Living here in Colorado, we definitely get a lot of snow going up to the mountains and things like that. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we got the leveling kit all installed. Um, so far, it looks really good so far. The stock wheels still are on there. Um, I just need to lift the car and then put on the new wheels and tires. Uh, the new wheels and tires are much more aggressive. They're much bigger. Uh, this is just kind of like a little side comparison, side by side. These are a 33 inch tire. Um, and I'm not really sure how big these stock ones are, but as you can see, these are much more aggressive and I think it's going to give it a much meaner look. It's going to look a lot better. We've got one of the wheels already mounted on the vehicle and look at the size difference between this one and the stock wheel. The aftermarket wheels and tires make such a big difference. Those 33s complete the off-road look and overall I'm really happy with the way it's turned out so far. But let's go ahead and start getting the other tires mounted and then we'll show you guys the finished product. So we got the wheels all installed. So far, I'm really happy with the way it looks, the way it turned out. Uh, my only concern right now is if the front wheels rub while turning. Uh, hopefully that won't be too big of an issue, but I'm about to go to the dealership to get an alignment and then we'll see how it drives after that. So we got the wheels and tires and everything fit on the Forerunner. The only thing is it does rub a little bit when we're fully locked or I'm fully turned um, on both sides. So we're gonna go ahead and trim just the very bottom of the front bumper, um, just on the inside, this section right here. Uh, same thing on the other side as well. We might have to take off the mud flaps. Um, I like the way they look, so we might just keep them on and just cut off some of their on the back end, but we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So that's it. That's all that we had to trim off on both sides of the front bumper. That was just right there. Um, and now we don't have any rubbing. We did have to take off the mud flaps on the rear. You can see right there where it was kind of rubbing. Uh, we tried to modify it a little bit to cut that section out. But when it was on the car, uh, this section right here was flapping. So I didn't want it to cause any issues or make any noise while driving. Um, so I just took it completely off. But other than that, everything's all good. I still do have to get an alignment, uh, but we'll get that taken care of Thursday and then she'll be all done. So just to give you guys a quick recap of everything we've done, we got the three inch uh, leveling kit or the three inch spacer in the front, the two inch in the rear. We got the 33 inch Falcon Wild Beak uh, tires along with the 17 inch bronze wheels. Um, overall, I really like the way it came out. The ride's not too bad either when going over bumps on the rear. It, it is a little bit stiff, but nothing too bad. Um, I don't mind it. If anything in the future, I'll kind of switch out the spacers uh, for a, an actual lift. Um, but as of right now, you know, it, it gets the job done. 
and I can't complain. But that'll do it for this video. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.